I am deeply honored and incredibly humbled to introduce you to the very brave Mallory Woodman. Thank you. <sighs> Bravery is a daunting term. What exactly characterizes bravery? I think so often we believe that to be brave, we have to perform an extraordinary act of courage. But do we ever stop to think that it is the daily things that we do that make us brave? The daily obstacles that we overcome, the adversities that we face, and the people that we choose to be. January 21st, 2008 is a day that I will never forget. I woke up and I walked into a clinic that morning to receive an epidural injection to help treat back pain. I was just 18 years old, two months before my 19th birthday, and in a moment, in the blink of an eye, my world forever changed. I walked in that morning and I never walked out. I was left paralyzed. I was admitted to the hospital and six weeks later, I left in a wheelchair. For weeks, I felt weak. I was scared, I was fearful, I was lost, and I was uncertain. But what I quickly realized is that everything happens for a reason. In the weeks, days, months to follow, I learned one incredibly crucial lesson about life. It isn't the moments in life that define who we are. It's what we do afterwards that defines us. It's how we react to those moments. January 21st, 2008 will never define me as a person, but the choices that I made following that day and the choices that I continue to make are what make me who I am. Each day moving forward, my family, my loved ones, and myself had to wake up and continually choose to fight, to fight for better and to move forward and to allow what happened that day to push us to strive for better. When I was first paralyzed, I was dependent on everyone around me. I couldn't sit up in bed. I couldn't dress myself. I couldn't do the simplest of tasks on my own, but I refused to settle. I refused to be dependent on others. One morning I woke up and I decided to start, I decided to start fighting, to start fighting for better, but I didn't do it alone. I did it with a family and loved ones and supporters far and wide by my side who helped push me forward. Looking back, my family, my loved ones, and myself, we were brave in those moments. We chose to fight back and we chose to find a happy ending in all of this. Because it is true, it isn't the moments and it isn't the circumstances that define us. It's how we react to those things that defines who we are. Nearly four months after my paralysis, I was exposed to a new world. I was exposed to the Paralympics. For 18 years of my life, I had never heard about the Paralympics, and they suddenly became a game changer for me. I often say that my swimming saved me, and I truly believe it. In April of 2008, my sister saw a newspaper article in our local paper, and it was about the 2008 Paralympic trials for swimming, for the Beijing Games, and it was being held at the University of Minnesota, which was just about 30 minutes from our house. I had just been paralyzed. I didn't want to go. My family pushed me, and within an hour or two later, I was at the pool with my sister, and I was watching this remarkable event unfold. I instantly wanted that part of my life back. I grew up in a family that was full of swimming. My parents were swim parents for probably most of their married life, and you know, my two older sisters swam as well. They were both competitive swimmers, and I had started when I was just seven years old. And when I was paralyzed, I thought that my days of swimming were over. Until April 8th of 2008, nearly four months after my paralysis, when I made the choice to get back in the water for the first time since my injury. Swimming quickly became my safe haven. 
It was my sanctuary. And it gave me a renewed zest for life that I'd been searching for since I was paralyzed. In a lot of ways, swimming brought me back to life. I quickly set my sights on the London 2012 games, and soon thereafter, I was dreaming of gold. Many thought it was impossible. Many told me I wouldn't be able to do it. But I knew if I put my heart into it, and if I believed in myself that the sky was the limit. The world that I was opened up to, it's limitless. It is a world that is about pushing your body to new limits, regardless of your situation. It's a world that's heart and soul is to inspire a generation. It is the Paralympic movement, a movement that is based on showcasing amazing abilities. Just over a year ago, on September 2nd of 2012, my dream came true. I was sitting on the starting blocks in London preparing for a race that was about to change my life. And nearly 30 seconds later, with my friends, my family, my teammates, and my loved ones up in the stands cheering for me, I hit the wall and one light went off. In that moment, I became a Paralympic gold medalist. <laughs> <laughs> in that moment, everything that I had gone through, every up and every down, came together. I have a quote that I absolutely love, and it says, a dream you dream alone is only a dream, but a dream that you dream together is reality. I know that that dream for me did not become a reality only because of myself. It became a reality because of the family, the loved ones, and the world of supporters I had far and wide surrounding me. In that moment, all of my doubters were put to rest. Everybody that told me I couldn't, and everybody that wanted to classify me as disabled. That day, myself and the other athletes in the pool, we proved to the world that we are able. So here's my question. When circumstance steps in and alters our course, what do we do with that? Do we allow it to define us? Do we allow it to paralyze us? Or do we press forward and move on with our life? When I was paralyzed, I had people that told me all the things I would never do. I was just 18 years old with the world at my feet, and society and statistics were so quick to tell me everything that I would never do again. I was told that I would never have a long-term relationship. I would never get married. I'd never have a family on my own. I would never graduate college, and I'd never hold a full-time job. And why? Simply because I was disabled. I was just 18 years old, and that absolutely terrified me. Those were all things that I wanted for my life. But what I quickly learned is that no matter what stage of life we are in, and no matter what the circumstances are, we will always have doubters. But it is up to us to decide what our next steps are, whether we succumb to negativity or whether we push forward. It has been almost six years, and I have competed as a Division I collegiate athlete. I've lived on my own. I've become a Paralympian. I've learned how to alpine ski. I've gone scuba diving and swimming with wild dolphins. I have pushed forward. And my newest goal, the impossible, to learn how to walk again. I am not able to regain function in my legs, but I am able to use my upper body and the help of assist the assistance of customized leg braces and arm crutches or a walker to help me move forward for the first time in six years and take a step again something that so many said I would never do again. For nearly six years, I've been classified as an individual with a physical disability. However, I believe that everybody has a disability of some sort. Mine's evident. You really can't miss it. I'm the one sitting up on stage. But we all have those things that can hold us back in life if we let them. We all live with some form of disability whether it be physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, 
financial, familial, and the list goes on. But where I believe bravery steps in is when we choose, regardless of our disability and regardless of circumstance, we are going to rise above and we are going to push forward. We are going to chase our dreams and we are not going to let it stop us. In fact, sometimes that's the most courageous act of bravery there is. Not allowing circumstance to define us and not allowing fear to hold us back. There is this mindset that I had as a child. I believed that in order to make a difference and change the world, you had to be the CEO of a company or a politician or someone famous. And I grew up with a father that told my sisters and I when he would tuck us into bed at night, you are the best, you can make a difference, and you can change the world. For years, I had no idea how I was gonna make a difference and change the world. I wasn't the CEO of a company, I wasn't a politician, and I certainly wasn't famous. But then what I realized is, although those individuals have the most immediate ability to make a difference and change our world, we all have that ability. We all have the ability to change the world and make a difference in our very own actions. We have the ability to be brave and fight for what we believe in, to live our lives with passion and with heart, and to rise above fear and push forward. We have the ability to smile at a bypasser, a fellow human being, free of judgment, just a simple smile as you never know what that one smile can do for someone's day. We have the ability to hold the door for someone, help someone in need across the street, or simply, and most important of them all, for a moment, let go of judgment and hate just because they may not believe the same things that you do. We all have that ability, and those are the things that are courageous. Those are the things that are brave, and those are the things that make a difference and change the world. They are things that each and every one of us is capable of doing on a daily basis. They are acts of bravery, and we as fellow human beings can be brave for ourselves and for everyone around us. So what is the definition of bravery? I don't think there is one. Bravery carries many faces, and we all have the ability to portray acts of bravery. For some, it might be simply getting up one moment because in that moment, life might feel just too difficult. Or breaking down barriers and coming together, free of judgment with an open mind to bring our world together. Bravery simply cannot be defined, but it can be challenged. Here is my challenge for myself and for all of you. Live your life with passion with heart, free of fear, hate, and judgment, and be courageous, and know that in any given moment, you can make a difference, and you can change the world by your simple actions. Thank you.